Good afternoon, Thomas. Here's your machine, the Breville Breezy Express BS870 in brushed stainless steel. As you saw in the photo, this is a very clean unit. I'll give it uh, a 9 out of 10, very, very close to new. Uh, so it does have some light scratches over here. It has been used for a few months very well. Um, and it did have some uh, very light um, corrosion. That's why it took me a while to get it ready. So by corrosion, I mean very, very, very light discoloration. I think this was used around the beach. Um, so I just did a polish and it's pretty much gone. Um, and uh, on the inside, of course, it's like new. I've just finished doing the, the service. So that's disc cycle, cleaning cycle, grind realignment, checking for leaks, pressure test, etc. Everything checks out. Absolutely no repairs done to this unit. Um, and she's ready to make a coffee. So uh, let's do a double shot of espresso. Um, so on the Breezy Express, it's a single boiler and it will take about a minute, which is very quick, about a minute to warm up. Since it's already been on, it's ready to go now. You see the buttons light up, that means it's ready. Um, you can use the machine straight away when it's ready, uh, but to warm it up some more and to get the best coffee that you can, uh, it's advisable to warm it up. So. Uh, you can warm it up either by leaving it on for 10-20 minutes. Um, so in that time, the top lid will get warm, so you can put your cups over here for them to get warm as well. Your group head and the handle will also get warm. If you don't want to wait and you want to make a coffee straight away, you can just run hot water through the system So by running a blank shot. So no coffee in the handle, um, just hot water and put the cup, on the cup or the shot glass underneath. Sorry about that. Just run. Let's let's do the double shot. So that's gonna warm up the shot glass as well. Perfect. So this is the double amount that's programmed. So when you make an actual coffee, it won't be all the way up to the top. It'll be close to three quarters. Um, these buttons are programmable, so you can change them to whatever length you'd like. And I'll teach you how to do that in a second. I'm just going to move this to the side. Um, you can do the blank shot once or twice. It's, it's very nice. I like to do it. It'll warm things up. Make sure you're getting a piping hot shot of espresso. And it will clean some, uh, some, of, some of the components, like the group head and the, the basket. By running the water through it so any coffee oils or coffee grounds will be stripped away which is good make sure to dry the basket after you do the blank shot because you want to when you grind you want to grind into an, an empty basket um, for optimal grinding distribution this is the double basket and this takes 18 grams of coffee so I recommend getting a scale if you can, just to make it make your coffee more consistent. Um, you don't have to, but it's advisable. And I'm going to dose 18 grams into it. Your machine also comes with the other baskets, like the single wall, sorry, the single shot, and the pressurized variety. So the pressurized ones are over here. They they say the word. They say the they say jewel wall underneath. So that means these are for ground coffee. Sorry, these are for pre-ground coffee. So when you buy your coffee from the shops pre-ground, for example, decaf. In co at Coles, you can't find um, coffee beans decaf, only coffee gra ground coffee as decaf. So these are for pre-ground coffee. But if you're using the ground, I just use the single one, the stand single wall standard. So this is a double. Uh, let's turn on the scale and calibrate. I've got the grind size on the left here at number four. This is going to change how fine or how coarse the coffee will come out. I think at number four, just by, by feeling it at number four, it's fairly fine. It's around uh, the right ballpark area. So I'm, uh, I'm going to need to fine tune it maybe, but it's at least close enough. This is what it looks like in case you were interested. So you can select how long to grind for. Um, 
using this dial. I'm going to keep it at 12 o'clock, let's see how much that is. And this here, you can select the filter size, double or single. Personally, I found it more consistent at the single setting. You can do it on single and um, do it in two steps. That will kind of reduce the mess. <laughs> my first dose let's see seven and a half so I'm gonna increase it let's say to three o'clock uh, I'm just gonna top it up now to nine grams because we, we, we're gonna do 18 grams in two steps so nine grams per dose so I'm just gonna top it up to nine grams if you want to manually grind and top up whatever you have you can just hold it it'll grind for as long as you hold almost there and that's nine grams perfect um, i'm just gonna grab the tamper it's on the side here so after grinding the first dose i'm gonna press it down do it again three o'clock make sure you don't spill any of it which i did <laughs> um but that doesn't matter yeah, that's 18 grams perfect you keep these settings you'll probably get nine grams it'll probably depend on what beans you're using so different beans may need to have different grind sizes and different amounts but at these beans i'm using the aldi beans i think they're pretty good um i'm getting 18 grams oh sorry nine grams per click if you do that twice you get 18. before pressing it down again make sure you flatten it with either of your fingers or your palm and then press it down nice and firm. Make sure, you, make sure you apply even pressure all around. And you'll notice that now we have 18 grams in the basket, as confirmed by the scale. The tamper only goes as deep as the silver, um, the silver part on the tamper. So if the tamper only goes this deep, then you can be confident that you have the right amount of coffee. Um, so in case you don't have a scale or you're in a hurry and you just want to check, just check check the depth and you'll know. Clean the edge and lock it in. You don't have to push it all the way to the right. In the middle is fine, especially as this is a relatively new machine. Um, the, the group head seal is still tight, so you don't have to force it all the way. So in the middle, six o'clock, perfect. If you notice that the handle is very, very tight and you can't even push it, in, um, that's probably because you have too much coffee. So if you have the right amount of coffee, it shouldn't be that hard to lock it into six o'clock. And yeah, now it's ready to make, to brew the coffee. I'm gonna tip this out and make the espresso. So I'm gonna, I've put in 18 grams. I wanna get double of that in terms of liquid espresso. So 36, um, that's the, the ratio or the recipe that I'm gonna use a two to one ratio. Um, standard I guess and it's all, all that is is to achieve a good taste so you don't have to be too focused on the numbers as long as it tastes good but I'm going to try to do a 2 to 1 ratio um, so I'm going to use the scale again to measure I want the 36 grams of coffee to come out in between 20 to 30 seconds so that's the appropriate range 20 to 30 seconds from the start if it takes longer than 20 20 oh, sorry if it takes longer than 30 seconds, that's probably because my coffee is ground too fine. If it takes less than 20 seconds, it's probably because it's ground too coarse. Um, assuming I'm using fresh beans. If, you, if you're not using fresh beans, it's this process is going to be much harder. Uh, but if you're using fresh beans, um, you should be in good, in good hands. Okay, I'm going to program the button for you, the double button. I'm going to make it give us 36 grams. So that every time you make a coffee, you'll get the correct amount of coffee. Program, and then push the button that you want to program. Pay attention to two things. The pressure gauge. You want it around 12 o'clock, plus minus a bit. That's the correct zone for, for this machine. And the flow. You want it to be nice and smooth, symmetrical.
Okay, it's coming out of the right and now it's evening out. Flows very, very nice and smooth. I think we're going to get a good shot. Um, one o'clock pressure, perfect. And I'm going to stop it right there. We got a lot of crema, which is very good. Just going to let it dribble. Yeah, as you saw, very smooth shot. We got 32, so just under 36. I could have let it go for longer. Um, I guess you can change that at your own time. But this is a nice, strong espresso. It's a double. Yeah, so if you add hot water to this, it'll become an Americano. If you add milk, it becomes a latte. Yeah, that's very nice. Very strong. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, you can use the hot water tap to make this into an Americano. So this here, if you turn the dial to the, uh, away from you, you'll get clean hot water. And if you turn it towards you, it'll give you steam. Uh, but just before you proceed, you want to clean the machine. So take off the port filter and knock the coffee out of it. Um, it's important to, to clean the machine as quick as you can, as soon as you can. Uh, I'm going to rinse it by pressing the, the double button. This will rinse your shower screen and the port filter in one go. So you can do that, or um, you can also add or grab a tissue and wipe off the shower screen and the grip seal as well. So you can do this every other day or um, every week just to make sure there's no accumulation of coffee grounds and oils up there. And um, this will prolong the life of your machine and of course the grip head seal. Um, when you turn on the steam, it'll take about 10-15 seconds to you know, warm up, reach temperature. Um, when you hear the pump, that's when it's ready to steam. Uh, you want to learn the technique um, and you want to invest in a good metal milk jug. That's about full pressure. You're going to turn it off. And after you're done steaming your milk, you want to purge. Just to get rid of any um, milk from the inside and now the machine will cool down it'll go back to coffee mode make sure you wipe the wand straight away of course it gets really really hot and the milk will stick It'll sort of bake onto the middle if you don't wipe it off straight away so the sooner you clean it the better for the machine and the easier for you really um, yeah that's all I think um, fantastic machine, I'm sure you'll love it. It's important to use good beans and it's important to keep up to date with the maintenance. Mainly just changing water filters every three months, doing the clean cycle, the discuss cycle when it's asking you to do it. And keeping the machine dry um, and I guess any issues you can just let me know. I'm more than happy to help you. It does come with a one-month warranty, so uh, I think that's a good peace of mind. But of course, after the warranty period, if you notice anything, any weird noises, any leaks, feel free to message me. But for the meantime, I think uh, you'll love the machine. It won't give you any troubles anytime soon. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.